welcome back to Miss Ocasio Reads. I'm Miss Ocasio and I am so excited to read with you today. Have you ever been to a river? You can find so much wildlife there. Today, Webster the Beagle is taking us on an adventure along the Rappahannock River where he'll teach us lots of fun facts about the animals that live there. But first, looks like we're all geared up and ready to ride the Rappahannock River. Webster the Beagle and His Adventures at the River Written by Frank Payne Illustrated by Romney Vasquez Webster the Beagle was a hunting dog who was born in a kennel with many other dogs. One day, Webster got lost while he was hunting. After being lost for two days, Webster found his forever family and became a cherished therapy dog. His family absolutely adored him and took him everywhere. Webster's favorite hobby was spending time on the Rappahannock River. When he visited the river, he had numerous opportunities to see so many other critters that didn't look like him. They had feathers, shells, and fins. Webster was a former hunting dog and he was excited to see all these new animals. He didn't need to chase them anymore. He could play with them. In the spring, Webster would venture down the pier to check on the ospreys in their nest. The same osprey couple came back every year to raise a new set of chicks. Did you know that osprey can live up to 25 years? Their nickname is the fish hawk because their main diet consists of catching live fish and they don't need to drink water. Ospreys mate for life and leave their river home in September, spend the winter in South America, and come back to the same place in March. Ospreys build large nests out of sticks, trash, and even dog toys. The nest is placed on trees, cliffs, telephone and power poles, and man-made structures on the water. In the summer, Webster's owner would take him crabbing on the boat, where they would haul in blue crabs from their own pots. One time, Webster got too close and the crab gave him a little pinch. Did you know that blue crabs live along the east coast of the United States, the Caribbean, and all the way down to South America, as far down as Argentina? Female blue crabs only mate once in their lives and can have over 2 million eggs at a time. Blue crabs have 10 legs and the hind legs act as paddles. Crabs can molt, which means they can outgrow their bodies and shed their shells to grow bigger ones. In the fall, Webster would go with his owner to harvest oysters from the river. He would oversee his owner collecting the oysters from his float and make sure everything was okay. Did you know that oysters have gills and breathe like fish? One oyster can filter 50 gallons of water a day. Oysters can live up to 20 years and have been around for more than 15 million years. Natural oysters grow together and form reefs, providing shelter for crabs and small fish. In the early winter, Webster would be so excited because that meant his owner would be loading him in the boat to go fishing for rockfish. Did you know that rockfish or striped bass live in the ocean but spawn in freshwater rivers? They can grow to be over three feet long, weigh as much as 70 pounds, and live to be 30 years old. Rockfish mainly stay close to the shoreline and can live in both freshwater and saltwater. There are limits on how many you can catch and what size they should be to protect them from being overfished. When Webster would come back from fishing, he would wander over to the neighbor's porch where they would feed him fresh green beans. They loved Webster's visits because it brought them so much joy and comfort. When Webster returned home from his journeys, he would take a nap in his very own hammock and enjoy the sunset with his brother, River the Black Lab. Life at the river for Webster was so exciting and he couldn't wait for all his adventures with birds, crabs, oysters, and fish. He loved running down the pier, being on the boat, napping, and watching the sunsets with his family. 
Dear Miss Ocasio and friends, we hope you enjoyed reading Webster the Beagle and his adventures at the river and all of the fun facts about creatures that live on or in the river. Webster enjoyed being with them and we hope you did too. Be sure to check out more stories from the Webster the Beagle series. Your friend, Frank Payne. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's story. Which part of our adventure with Webster the Beagle was your favorite? See you next time. Thanks for joining me today for Miss Ocasio Reads. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Share this video with your teachers and friends. Subscribe to read more stories with me. And visit Miss Ocasio Meets to get to know your favorite authors. Thanks for watching.